National Youth Assembly uh, of Ireland is really important in order to get the views of young people uh, in terms of what government needs to do. Uh, young people have been absolutely crucial in highlighting some of the major societal pressures we have at the moment and I suppose specifically climate change. Young people have led the, the public discourse on, on saying we need to do more as a country. Now it's important that we listen to young people in terms of what are the specific solutions that they want to bring forward and that they themselves will be so important in implementing as they grow older. I think it's important to make sure that young people's voices are heard. Different people from different backgrounds and um, areas have a voice in what they think would improve our country. Communication and engagement is definitely an important aspect for me to be you know, kind of put this forefront because if we don't communicate with each other like the government and the public, it's hard to make a difference because they're the two that have to follow the legislation and introduce the legislation, so that's where it all begins. Ireland is leading the change in young people's voices and events like today really help to drive home the message that we can actually make a difference. Our, our voices can be heard and we can bring about change. I think that we, we are starting early with the change and it will continue on as we grow up. Because it's this idea of the old teams of reduce, reuse and recital and making the most of what we have and just start applying them to new principles in the future as we go forward. Instead of just going from production, production and profit, we're looking at how can we build ourselves up, maybe at more cost to ourselves, but be able to build for a better future. Here, you know, we're trying to get more people involved and I honestly learned so much from just being in there in that room with all those people and they have so many amazing ideas and it's just such an important topic because you're getting people engaged, you're getting people out there and you're getting people to do stuff. I would like to thank all the people involved because I know there was a lot of work being put into this and I think that the fact that this is happening today is incredible and more events like this should happen. Young people feel like they're actually being heard and there's a lot of follow up as well after the assemblies. It's, it's not something we've seen before with different consultations. So I think these assemblies, the setup of the National Youth Assembly is a really good step in the right direction. We've seen the huge passion that young people have for climate action. They've uh, led on climate action over the last three, four, five years. The school strikes, the various other uh, really important steps that they've taken to highlight the need for Ireland to act to fulfil our international obligations, but as well as them seeing the need to act, they also have some really good ideas in terms of what are the things that government can do, what are the things that all of us can do, tangible steps that will actually make a difference, that will help us reduce our emissions, help us protect and save biodiversity. Uh, and a forum like today, the Youth Assembly on Climate Action, gives us that opportunity to kind of delve in deeper, hear their recommendations, hear their solutions, uh, and I would hope as part of government to be able to act on many of them over the months and years to come.